I am back with my uh, rooster behind me and my guardian. Anyway, um, I had to stop my miracle morning routine and you can hear the a company of the lawn mowing people behind me and the cicadas in the trees. Anyway, this is where I work in the mornings. I love as the neighborhood comes alive and to hear nature before they um, everybody gets going and gets here. Anyway, I've been out and today is my business review day. As a small business, I take a day each month and go over um, what's working, what's not working, uh, looking ahead, what am I doing right, what do I want to look at and consider, and maybe new directions, new offerings. Uh, you'll see a survey on my feed. Uh, I would love if you would take it because I'm creating new content. Uh, I've been asked to do a lot more how-tos, uh, short how-tos, so let me know what you would like to do. And I'm also working on um, an ebook. Look for that. I'm excited. As a prior uh, writer, eh, I guess you're never a prior writer, you're always a writer. Anyway, I am looking forward to that. Uh, once the kids get back in school, I get started and get the ebooks out. Anyway, let me see what I'm doing today. Alright, so part of my visioning process is visioning. So I have meditated and prayed and uh, done some of my morning routine things and had to stop before the exercise portion and have a chat with you all because I was asking myself questions for my business today and I wanted to know a few things. Um, I'm learning new decks. This one, which is one of Colette's old decks, but I get drawn to decks to learn them more in depth, and that was one that's been calling me along with this one. Uh, we'll return that call later. Anyway, this one, I told you this was live. Okay, so. Uh, the first three deck, the first three questions. I knew I wanted to use that, and that's my layout. As you can see, most of the cards are in the protective position. And for the last question, I was asking a prediction, so I was using the divination cards. First of all, you all may wonder how can I be Christian and use this? This is my way of talking through God in pictures. So for me, there's no. Um, conflict. I, is This is just a picture that I can more easily grasp and look at the symbolism of. So, this is my conversation with God, extended prayer. Alright, so the questions I wanted to know today uh, were follow the same basic past, present, future card reading that I do for so many of you. Um, and I wanted to know what were the lessons of my past in this business as I'm coming up on an anniversary in October. Uh, and couldn't get a card to come out of the deck or presents itself so I just so that was a clue I wasn't asking the right question so start with the question that you think you have and then you may have to tweak it the cards will let you know it's not specific enough or whatever well I needed two questions so my question became uh, what where did I come from uh, when I started this business? Where did I come from? And what did it mean for me to be coming from that place and then um, going into this business? So, once again, my original question was just one. Um, what were the lessons of my past? Well, that was too broad to get the help I needed in the cards. So it became the two questions. Where did I come from? And what did it mean that I came from there? That's a much deeper question. And that's a good question for today as I'm considering my business. Okay, so I got some really good answers. I um, Really good answers. If you're interested, I can share the reading results later. That's not the focus of this video. And then my second question was about the present. Um, where am I at now? And... I drew two cards, not for the same reason. So I drew two cards again for one question. The question was right, 
the answer uh, gave me stuck in the mud, reversed. I will show you that card. I'm like, well, no, I'm not stuck in the mud. So, uh, what does that mean? And for me, that meant that I'm going to have to adjust my course. Having done a prior visioning exercise while my kids were at their grandparents' last month's um, business review day, I saw a much, much bigger picture of Walks in Spirit LLC. Bigger than I would have let myself imagine and dream until maybe 10, 20 years down the road. So what does that mean for me? And I've been asking for guidance from God to grow my business into this much bigger capacity. It's scary, uh, but it's good. So maybe that's where I'm stuck in the mud. I'm not letting go of the original vision I had for this business, which was just me as a solo practitioner. And although I rent off a space with a group of wonderful women, I that's not what I'm seeing in my future. I'm not growing into there fully. I'm growing into my own in a new place. Shh, don't tell my my uh, landlord. Um, and I got in the earlier last month reading this was going to come quicker than I expected. So, okay. So I didn't like to stick in the mud and wanted to elaborate and went, okay then. Uh, how do I get there quicker? How do I embrace this vision, which is scary, so I don't want to step on this path. It's going to be huge. And I've got two kids that are still in school. And I got... The new course is Reverse Magic Stream. So a protective position, and it says that I can't force anything in the situation. I can't force the inspiration. I can't manufacture the creativity that it's going to take for this to for this to be present in something now. I'm going to have to immerse myself into the river, into the divine's knowing, caring, loving support. And stop trying when I immerse myself and just be all that I can be, to borrow the army's phrase, and allow the time, then this is going to happen. So once again, I, what I perceived as a four card reading, as I already has four cards, I'm only on the second question. Why did I choose another card, although I had gotten an answer? Part of it was because I didn't like the answer. But I knew that it was true, and I needed help to see why and, and push away the judgment. So that's another way you can pick. You may need to pick another card, or two or three. As my clients know, I always say, um, for my full tarot readings, it's a minimum three-card reading because I'm going to look at the past, the present, and the future. When I feel that the reading is unclear or not finished, I will keep going. So you having uh, private readings with me may also get more than three cards. Now, if it's very clear, very simple, I can get the vibes off of the three cards and give you more than enough information and, and action steps to go ahead. But often, you, uh, I need some, want to give you clarification and I also need clarification. Okay, so my last card, still in the same deck, my question was, where am I going? Alright, like I said, I had a vision of this earlier. So where am I going? And it showed me that I needed to uh, look at the loyalties of the people around me, make sure that I wasn't being too trustworthy of people that hadn't earned it, and to... Um, not fall for any all or nothing things. And I'm, I can be an all or nothing kind of person. So I have to watch for that in myself. Um, but I need to be cautious yet not be so protective that I pay a high price and don't move forward. Wow, well that's sort of my life in a nutshell. Don't remain cautious, too cautious, so that you miss the treasures. And don't be so intent on protecting them that you don't use them and unpack them. So, 
Okay, that's all I needed for that card. So I didn't need another card for that question. And then my last question was, um, when when will the things that I'm building come to fruition? <laughs> and this is what I'm going to show you because patience and breathe. Breathe. Well, that's part of what I do every day as my morning routine. Breathe, meditate, visualize, exercise, read, uh, do my affirmations, all those things. And I pull cards and I listen to Joyce Meyer and or Joe Osteen and read from the Bible, whatever it takes to fill my coffers. Anyway, breathe, be patient, stop smell the roses, wait, trust, there's no rush. Meditate further, uh, breathe in light, and release darkness. Uh, that just uh, pretty much says it all. So once again, I did not need a follow-up card. Now, so that answers some of the how to frame your questions and why um, you may need to add or change the question. Uh, as for the decks, it's a feeling I get. I leave my decks, a few of them in plain sight. So each morning when I go to pick up a deck, I feel... Uh, okay, I, I ha use telemetry. I feel that that's not the right deck. If I go against my instinct with that deck, the card won't fall out, the card won't stand up, and I'll be shuffling just forever. That's another sign. It doesn't feel right when you use it when it doesn't feel right. The cards don't want to come out because it's not the right deck. So um, go with the deck you're drawn to. Leave them out and get how you feel. Ask God prayerfully to help you with your question. Help you with your selection so that you can hear divine guidance easily, easier. And if you don't like um, the phrase of God, ask your angels, ask your spirit guides. Anyway, and then I knew that I needed two decks. So this was number two. It's trial and error. You can't be wrong, but you can be less helpful and less clear with the deck choices and with the questions. With the questions, that's a much bigger issue because framing the right question gets you the right answer. Say hi to my neighbor's dog. Anyway, I wanted you to uh, be a part of my miracle morning this morning. Now it's time to go exercise and read. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this helped clarify a few things about asking the right questions and choosing the right deck. Have a great week. Uh, summer is still here, but we've got like a month left, so enjoy it. Take care, y'all. Bye.